Experts have cautioned that unless government installs functioning way bridges and ensures strict enforcement on major highways, taxpayers' money will continuously be sunk in maintaining roads worn out by heavy trucks. Director Internal Auditor at the Uganda National Roads Authority, UNRWA, Peter Chirimunda, told the Commission of Inquiry into the authority operations that he did a number of audits at way bridges across the country, but his recommendations were ignored by the UNRWA leadership. Are you satisfied with the rate or level of implementation of your recommendations? Much on the lower side. Management reserves the right to either implement my recommendations or to ignore. For instance, on 7 February 2013, he submitted a report indicating that some way bridges were non-functional with no CCTV cameras. We have a way bridge controller who is supposed to be a university graduate. And then we have a way bridge assistant who is supposed to be a cleaner. And all of them are doing the same job in the same place at the same time. The Commission has also queried the recruitment of way bridge controllers by UNRWA. For instance, there is a Kasozi working in Busia on a way bridge. You can get skilled people in each of the districts where the way bridges are, and you can train them so that they are, you, 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 you create employment locally. Assistant controller of the Ruero Way Bridge, Denga Hosaya, who admitted he was not trained to manage the facility, said some trucks were not weighed. You'll find that you've impounded a truck, and after impounding it, the truck has got an exemption letter. Who is exempting them? The minister. Which minister? Minister of Works and Transport. The well-composed Denga also claimed that some police officers connived with the drivers of impounded trucks. A police officer comes to you and tells you a truck has escaped from the yard. He also alleged that some soldiers and police officers escorted some of the overweight trucks. So other vehicles that would have branched off take an advantage and go with the, with the convoy. Proposals have been mooted to decriminalize excess loading and introduce express penalties which allow drivers to pay in the bank. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.